When Beth Moore learned of the tragedy that claimed the life of Caitlin Catgold, what she thought was a bad dream turned into a living nightmare. I actually woke up in the middle of the night and saw the text from her mom um, that she had gone to meet Jesus. It took me a little bit to like comprehend it. Moore has known Kat and her family for about seven years. She says Kat, the second oldest of four kids, was full of life and just starting to figure out the person she wanted to become. Moore says she is someone you wanted to be around. You, know, you just fell in love with her because she was so sweet and so kind and helpful and just wanted to have fun. Moore knows the tears of sadness that trickle down her face when she thinks of Kat will one day be replaced by tears of joy. Misty Berg dealing with that same pain and says she wants to remember the good time she had with her friend and smile, but right now she can't. It's just so hard to put in words how you feel about somebody when they're here one day and they're gone the next. Bird says there is no punishment that is enough for Nicholas Pettinger if he indeed murdered her friend in cold blood. She does not want to waste time and energy thinking about her friend's accused killer. Her focus is on remembering the friend she knew for less than a year but love like they had known each other their entire lives. I just want people to remember who she was, like her smile, her personality. <clears throat> I could, this story, I mean, the list could go on of things I would want people to remember about her, but most of all, just, just remember that she had a wonderful heart and she was a wonderful person.